You're watching Backyard Tech. Yesterday for Fridays here at the Backyard Tech channel, we had an old mate's tech acquisitions video where I showed you some of the stuff that I'd picked up. Actually, it wasn't some of the stuff. All the stuff that I'd picked up from my mate at his computer business yesterday. And uh, as we saw in that, I managed to score a little white QNAP drive. So I thought for this video, we'd have a sticky beak at it. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, as I said yesterday, we had an old mate's tech acquisitions video where I managed to pick up a Dyson vacuum cleaner, another CyberPower UPS, an Acer laptop, and a little white QNAP drive. Now, I initially thought it was newer than my current QNAP drive, but I think I'm actually wrong. I actually think it's older, strangely enough. So I thought for this video, we'd grab the... Uh, video camera and have a little bit of a sticky beak at it um see why i believe it's two drive it doesn't look big enough for a two drive so either it's one full size three and a half inch drive or two half size uh three and a half inch drives uh or for all i know it could actually be uh laptop hard drives don't know um i've never seen one of these white qnap drives before so this thing's all new to me as well. So let me grab the video camera and we'll head over behind the uh, monitor here and have a bit of a sticky peek at it. Let's get into it. So this is it here. This is this little white QNAP thing. I'm not overly familiar with these ones, but you can see on the back, we've only got power, Ethernet, and two USB 2s. You'll notice the difference with this and, say, my QNAP is this doesn't have a DB15 VGA plug on it. And it also only has one Ethernet rather than the two that some other QNAPs come with. So I'm thinking this one's more of a home-based NAS rather than a business-based NAS. But I've got to work out how to get into the damn thing. Oh, I forgot to show you the Kensington lock. So, by the looks of it, it should just, is there something under here I'm supposed to pull out, is there? No. I don't actually know how to get into these. It looks like it's supposed to just unlock. I think you're just supposed to do this with it. That's power. Oh, there's a USB on the front here too, guys. Um, just bear with me. I'll see if I can get into this. Hang on. Actually, on second thoughts, it does fit. You just need a lot of force to undo it. All right. So this is this is not a TS212P. This is just a TS212. Wow. There is not much to this. Look at that. We have a header there, which is just a SATA header. We have another SATA there with power. So I'm thinking, actually I'm not thinking, I know, drive one, drive two. Wow, there is, there is literally not much to this. <laughs> there is very little to this actually. very little so I'm assuming this is actually 
older than my grey cune app that I already have, which we've got to try and repair at some stage. So there's not much really to it, is there? Look at that. <coughs> what do you do then? <coughs> Slide it back on like that. And there's your NAS. Now, unfortunately, old mate has gone and busted the rubber feet on both ends. There we go. Like that. They're all broken now. <laughs> wow. Okay. So there's not much really to that one. Um, I'll probably use it as a USB NAS um, and just sit it somewhere. I may, I may actually end up adding it to the um, media PC or maybe even the um, main network and have it as a USB backup system for the servers maybe um, and just run it as you know USB hard drives which should be all right it's you know beggars can't be choosers guys all right so there's that little Qnap, app and I got if I can find what I've done with it there it is I got its associated power supply as well just takes a standard IEC and then uh, that goes into the back of it it's 12 volts so not much really to that one so there's that one. Now the other one we're going to have a look at uh, later on today is that UPS as well. Third time's a charm, as one of my viewers said to me last night. Let's hope that one doesn't blow up as well. Um, so what we'll do, um, I, I might, what I might do is use this one actually as the uh, as a backup hard drive for. Um, Excuse me, fourth cup of coffee. Oh, that's better. I may use this, if I can get it to lock in properly, um, just for you. It's that screw there and the one at the top that unlocked this. Um, I may end up using this as a uh, backup for the servers, I reckon. Um, Neth server and possibly uh, Q-Store. Put in a couple of um, hard drives and uh, just have it as a USB backup. Not even, not even bother connecting it as an Ethernet, just have it as a straight USB backup unit and can just sit in the cabinet. Because now that I'm putting in those SFFs into the cabinet, I've got more or micro SFF, but the two, the two Dell units I can probably just have this sit in there and, and, and act as a backup server. So there we go. Bit of a quick sticky beak at the little QNAP TS212. There we go. Stick around. We're going to have a look at the CyberPower UPS soon. Also, uh, some uh, server cabinet work coming up today as well. We'll see you through the day. Have a good one. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.